Okay, we're on a little uh, sabbatical with Amzy, and he's uh, getting a new toy. A little sob, so I figure I'll take a walk out back and uh, see what we're up to. We gotta get this thing out of here. Yeah, it's been here for 30 years. Guys, we're back here. <laughs> get this trailer out of here. That might be a little bit of an issue. Studs, these uh, bolts. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, they're, they're, it's like going to a minefield. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just go so whack them with a hammer. Uh, yeah, hit them in. If they're rusty enough, maybe. They might even go straight in if the holes were drilled all the way down. Yeah, I brought my big hammer. Okay. We got a bolt cutter, too. That might actually be better. Yeah. We'll snip it close enough to the yeah, bottom. Yeah, man. Like, I, I would feel safer if you do, did that because otherwise you're going to have to bring it out at just the right angle, otherwise, it's going to go. Were you planning on pulling it on these old tires or not? Um, well, I got a compressor, so I'm going to see if at least two, two of them should hold air. That one probably won't. <laughs> Maybe temporarily. <laughs> just long enough. enough. Do you got a, a plug we can... Yeah. Well, actually, first thing we should do is this trail. That look too bad. We got to get the nose way over that way. But first we have to get that big trailer out of the way. And uh, so we gotta go and hook my trailer now. That side, you hear You got plenty. Let's try this one. Get that. Oh, yeah. I don't think we'll push our luck too much more than that. You all right? Oh, yeah. You sure. As I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? I said, I want to push my luck too much more than that. Boom. Sure? You didn't get your eardrums? No. Just dirt. You got that on camera. Yeah. It might just be stuck in the end. Probably. You need to do that in order to get in the end. And we need to drive a sob. Don't these have a lock? And let's go try number three. See if we get. That's a no. That's a no on that one. Somewhere. Yeah. I wouldn't stand there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
not pushing it past that. <laughs> Get that one that uh, forget it. That one that's got a hole right through it. That tire's junk. We're not putting air in that one. So uh, it doesn't want to turn either. So we're gonna have to go beat on that drum a little bit, I think. So now we can kind of see what the body issues are. We're gonna have to change that tire. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's got a hole right through the other side. Maybe after we get the rim off, we can whack right on the drum. <laughs> Just watch that thing doesn't fall off the jack. That jack looks like it's rolling towards us. You think uh, maybe we can just take the caliper right off? Did you bring anything to squeeze the caliper back, maybe? I didn't. To be honest with you, I thought this, was, this would be drum. Yeah. Where's that? That proof right there. Yeah. She'll move. She'll come out of it. Walk that back. You want to spray some shit on it? Yeah. Make them wet? sitting for 30 years, as you can tell. I'm gonna get the pads right out of it if we have to. The back's gonna be the problem because the emergency brake was left on. So I think that's where, where our issue's gonna be. We ran into one problem. Alloy wheels, steel lug nuts. They don't fit. So we have to try to get the spare on here and do some other kind of a finagling. You want to do the honors? I think there's critters in there too, so. Looks like the back of my, the transom of my boat. Someone's getting evicted. Eh. Well, that's what happens to spare, huh? It's all rusty. Yeah. Hopefully it, uh, can hold air. We ran into some operating difficulties that the alloy wheels are thicker. The lug nuts don't make it. Uh, lug nuts on it. Yeah. Right bowl pattern, and just the lugs aren't long enough. So we're gonna go try getting this one. There's that front tire that's got five PSI in it. I don't think that's gonna be very long for the journey either. Juice it. What not? What not to do to your brakes <laughs> ever, except for moments like this. Or if you really don't like somebody. <laughs> gonna hit the garage. We're gonna hit the garage. There goes that one. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of that one. May pop? Yeah. Will pop. Did pop. At least her face wasn't there with that one. <laughs> I wonder if how much I jumped on the camera. I'll look later and see how much I went. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we gotta uh, oh, I wish I brought my lug nuts. Fudge it around. Alright, let's take the slack out of it. You got about a foot. Going up. Okay, slow. Good. Hoop, oh, oh. Now we're gonna have to pull the the uh, ass end over before we do anything. Yeah, 
we're gonna have to re regroup and put a come along over there and get the, the uh, ass end over. All right, round two. Well, you pull me up a little bit. Let me get some. Right Let me just whack it down with a hammer a little bit into the ground. There we go. Okay. Got about six inches maybe now. Yeah, we're pulling up again. Do you think uh get a jack on the other side? Hold on, I'm not holding it. We yeah. get the other jack on the other side. Is there room? Unless we're far enough away now. It might be it's close. I'd give us another. It's because it's going to shift. You know? It's not going to go straight out. Yeah, it's so going to want to. I'd rather get about a foot away from the. So by the time the front fender's there, it's only an inch away. It's going to. And off for another try. I would think so. So we're getting it, we're using a combination of the truck chain and then uh, kind of coming off at an angle with the, uh, the pry bar, working it in between. I actually think if we could actually even get rid of the truck maybe and just pull straight towards that location. Because now we're kind of like trying to pull the truck backwards a little. So if you just back the truck up. Good. Just bumped your head on the branch there and shut you off. That's what we're working with. And of course the back wheels are locked up so that's not making life much easier. But if we get it back to about where the door handle is, then we can pull with the truck again. Yeah, come along is off. We're gonna go give her a tug with the truck until we start getting too close to that tree. Another foot! A little more! One more time! Good! Yeah, I gotta reset with the come along. Yeah, a lot of Z's getting put on, drawn on the ground. So we'll reset maybe up there. I wonder if you could just leave the chain hooked up like it is again. And uh, what if uh, what it's got to come back though, you know? What if we you leave? Over there yeah, the problem is what's nice about it where it is, it's anchored. I don't have to try and hold it. But if we uh, maybe if we can even come into the slab right here, yeah, yeah right next to with the side of the yeah, this is yeah, this is asphalt. It may help us a little bit. And that's not so bad. About an hour, up out of its hole, and we got it straight to the driveway. So the next thing is, after he gets the uh, come along out of there, he's gonna back the trailer up, and then we gotta winch it, unfortunately, onto the trailer with its uh, 
two locked up rear wheels. So that'd be more of the same. So we're gonna make him do most of that. Here's our path. Path of destruction. See if it left any, uh, a little bit of DNA. Not too bad though. All right, well, we're gonna go uh, swap out the truck, get the trailer back in here and uh, start to winching all over again. This one's rolling. That uh, rim's rolling on this side. See if this one's turning too. That one's already moving. Yeah. Can't get in there for a swing, huh? <laughs> now we get it to roll. <laughs> what are you hammering the lever back in? Yeah. And the brake line off. Now hey, you didn't need that. Squirt you. You're getting dirty. You think you didn't wear your Sunday clothes? Oh, those are your Sunday clothes. Yeah, these are. I wear work pants every day. <laughs> I wore my good jeans. Yeah, that one's dragging. You gotta slide off a bit. I'll kick the ramp over. I think you the loop up the front wheel to the left. Looks like it wants to come off. Let me uh, just kick this ramp. I need the hammer. Wheels turning a bit. Yeah, they all are, are three. Are oh, you crazy? Which way do you want it to go? You can go. Uh, Turn clockwise. Yeah. This way. There you go. A little bit. Yeah, about right there is good. <laughs> You're sitting if you want. <laughs> Don't trust us. You can straighten it out now. Go the other way. Yeah. More. More. Yeah, you go. Good, good. Angie, when you go about another foot, I want to pull this ramp over out a little further. Hold it. There we go. Okay, so he's uh, winching it up. We got it in gear. You just want to see if the motor's gonna bump it off. I, I saw the fan click a hair. There it goes. It turned. Turn. Yeah. Is that a good sign? That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Yeah, not much, but it's enough to make so it moves. It's not locked up solid. Yeah. Put a battery in it. Fire it up. Drive it on. Trouble is now that I put it in gear and load it forward, it ain't gonna come out of gear. Because it's loaded. Can't push the clutch in, take the load off. It's moving up there. That's right. The tubes are moving. See the cylinder? Or is it down? Back off in the coming line a little bit. You can't tell, it's all it's all got rubber over it. The, the, um, the slave cylinder, you can't really see what it's doing. I think I regret <laughs> trying that. Glad, glad you're winching. <laughs> Back off the come along, it may just be uh, enough to unload it. You gotta kind of 
bring it. There you go. Break it. I'll let you do the honors. I don't want to force it. There you go. Do you really think you're going to be able to get it to, to run without totally dismantling the motor? That's what that means. That fan moving it's, means, it's it means the, the, everything turned inside the engine everything a little moves. bit. That way, I know the cylinders didn't get water and rust up inside, which means mm -hmm. the motor would have been no good. The fact that that just moves tells me this thing will run. It means this evening he's going to be making <laughs> rust fly out of the under yeah. the hood. Well, that would be great. I mean, I would just love to hear the thing. Over. Won't be this evening. I still got a lot of. I got to get once I drop it off, drop you off. I got to go up to the shop and swap all the tires back on the sonnet. I got to mount four tires on this tonight. Yeah, you will. We'll have it on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get the cranking. All we gotta do is get it off the trailer. You guys can follow the rest of this on Amzie's corner, and uh, he's gonna uh, probably pretty soon uh, pull start on it. We believe the motor's gonna turn, so that's a good sign. So he's gonna uh, take the ball from here. Then again, everybody, thanks for watching, comment, subscribing, and uh, keep following this build.